These are the plaintiffs, Jay Dothit and Kevin Pickens Jr. Jay says he and his fiance Kevin were illegally kicked out of the room they rented from the defendant, and their demands for a rent refund have been ignored. They won't stand around and get ripped off by the defendant and are suing for the $539.20 they're most definitely owed. This is the defendant, Laura Andrews. She says she and the co-plaintiff, Kevin, got into a heated argument about baby wipes gone missing. And that caused an immense amount of tension in the house. Once they started talking behind her back, she told them to get out and doesn't owe them a red cent. She's accused of not getting along. All parties, please raise your right hands. People of the court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Millian is now presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay. Mr. Dothett and Mr. Pickens, you are suing Laura Andrus for $539 that you want returned to you because, according to you, um, she kicked you out. Tell me what happened. So, we arrived there on May 31st. We just left an apartment that was a bad situation. And so we paid via Cash App and then... Um, what was the agreement that you were going to pay how much in rent? So it was a total of 600, three and three. And then did that include the utilities yes, or not? Yes, it included all utilities and everything. And then uh, I want to say about a month and a half later, his grandmother who pays his portion of the rent uh, gave us an AC unit and they stated that they wanted an AC unit for us to run the AC. And they yeah. wanted what? <laughs> a whole AC unit. She wanted you to gift her an AC. Yes. If you wanted to run your AC, because yes. presumably your AC would then raise the utility yes. bill. So, so as compensation, is that is that what you said to him? What did you say to him about utilities? Um. Well, he said he was going to get us an AC. So. I told Are him, utilities included or aren't they in the $600? They were. But? The AC running constantly, because uh -huh. it was so hot, raises the utility bill up more. Right. So he offered to give me $200 to help with the utility bill extra. Okay, so you didn't demand the 200 from him, he offered? Yes. Okay, what day did you pay her 200 for utilities? So that was in mid-June. Uh, or July. It was July 7th. Yes. The exact date was July 7th. Correct. All right, and then what happens? So then a couple... Things go wrong when, in August? August 1st. August 1st, you pay the rent, and after you pay the rent, she puts in writing and tells you that you guys need to be out September 1st. Yes, because okay. of the, I guess, Habitat for Humanity that g called her and stated that she could not rent out rooms, but there was... A How many rooms are in this house? Three. Three. Did Habitat for Humanity build this house for you? Yes. And um, is it supposed to be for you and your family or supposed to be for you to rent out? For me and my family. Okay, but you're renting it out. I was renting a room, yes. Okay. How many people were living there when they were living there? Uh, it was me... My husband, my son, my daughter, so I can't think right now. Four, that's six. <laughs> you, you plus them is eight, yeah. So there's a lot of people in here. Yes. Right. right. Okay, so you give them notice, and the reason that you're asking them to leave is what? There was too many people. Too many people in the too house. Many people, too many people. Too many people Too many different house. personalities. People weren't getting along? It was kind of touch and go. Okay, this is the juicy part. This is the part I like, and you're depriving me of it, and I don't want you to deprive me of it. What was the problem? What do you, like, give me an example of the problems that were arising. Um, other people in the house weren't happy, um, and some of the, his actions was jokingly, but some people didn't take it jokingly. For example, what? Like, um, oh, okay, so my husband's friend and something about in the butt or something. Okay. I can't remember exactly. All right, I asked, I asked. Yeah, All right, so um, so sexual innuendo. Yes. And other people didn't like it. Yes. And He okay. was joking, but other people didn't take it that right, way. Right, 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 okay. All right, well, for whatever reason, she gives you notice and you don't like it because you're like, we didn't do anything wrong. So, Your Honor, I questioned it 
because the way she she served us with that letter, it was so off the chain. Like she, we just paid rent. Right, and then it's she kind knocks. of the way the landlord has to do it if they want to get rent. Well, so <laughs> they get the rent from you, and then they're required to give you 30 days notice. So they give you the notice after the rent. You give it before Correct. the rent. You're not going to get the rent. So, so I did have questions. Right, because and I did because ask. let's be clear though about one thing. You guys understand that your your only right is to have 30 days notice. You get that right because you don't have a lease. So right. first, say yes, yes or no. Yes. Okay, okay. I do get that, and right. his grandmother who. Uh, What's the deal between your grandmother and her? You're Kevin, right? Yes. What's the deal between your grandmother and her that they, they text each other and stuff? Well, my grandmother just wants, she's looking out for my well-being. But do they know each other? They appear to they know don't. each other. They don't know each oh, other. Oh, no. Either. They never met each other before. No. Okay. Not before we moved in Okay, there. okay, okay. Um, so so the, thing, the thing that really threw me off, though, is like, we sat down and had a whole house meeting, and they said that the whole thing with the baby wipes is because, like, she sat down with us and everyone in that house sat down and had a whole conversation that because when he goes to the bathroom, he leaves, how can I say it? Shakings, oh, just say it. Shafings. What are like shafings? from the middle of the thigh. All right, it, like a couple of times, and I just wanted to make sure that that wouldn't happen again, and... They, that's what they wanted to make sure. That's why we had that house meeting. But they offered to put baby wipes in the bathroom. So he could wipe? The toilet seat. So he goes in the bathroom about a week later. I only have baby. girls, so everything I'm hearing is just killing so, me right now. So, Your Honor, you know how you sweat? Sweat. S okay. Yes, May I know I how one sweat. Yes. Okay, I live so for the you moment. You sweat and you walk, right? Right. What happens? You chafe. Okay. I think it's called chafe. Okay, but so but when physically, you sit on the toilet, right? What happens when you sit on the toilet? That chafe is going to go on the toilet. Correct? What does chafe look like? Does it look it's, like hair? Does it look like what? It, Does it look like urine? Like Does it look like little skin, dead skin? It, so you're actually talking about dead skin, right? These guys said that they were gonna put they were gonna put baby wipes to make Who's sure. Who's these guys? Which guy said that? Miss Laura and Mr. Chris said that there was going to be baby wipes okay. in the bathroom. So, so this he is could by the way, we're so, we're already talking now in August that this problem happens. Yes. Like you're already leaving September first. Right. Right. So now, so now. There, there, there was, arises an argument over the number of baby wipes used. Correct. With, between before, whom and whom? Who has that argument? So him and their son. Okay. And when I came out to Chris, because there was a whole bunch of argumentative stuff going on where who used my baby wipes, they need to replace Wasn't them Wasn't Chris part of the, of the baby wipe discussion? So here's where I'm getting to. His son went down and up the hallway saying whoever used my wipes better replace them. So we're just like in our room, we have the door closed, like you gonna knock on the door and ask? Or are you just gonna sit out there and be belligerent? So we waited. And then when he went out to go smoke a cigarette, that's when the whole thing Who came Who went apart. out to go smoke a cigarette? Kevin. Now I wanna hear from Kevin. Kevin, what happened? So I went out to go smoke a cigarette, and uh, Chris's son confronted me. He was like, were you the one that used the baby wipes? And I was like, yeah, I did. I wanted to wipe off the toilet seat. And he was like, don't do that. That's not yours to use. And then I responded with, well, I thought it was mine, and he shut me up. He just kept cutting me off, and he just got real defensive and real hostile towards me about it. And, and wait a second. Did a fist fight happen? No. Okay. Nobody pushed anybody, nothing. Just the argument outside. Yes. And then did you guys call the police? But tell her. Yeah, the also police was called. Why, were the, how, the why police. were the police called? It was about to be a fist fight. So like, how was he it about? To, okay, hold on. You he, were you sorry. there? Were you yes, there? Yes, I was okay, there. Okay, but can, it's his Chris, story. Can we let him talk? Yes, hold on. Yes, go ahead. sorry. So go on. Chris's son. Chris's son was like, "Well, we could see it in the street if you want to get mouthy." Okay. And what did you say? I said, "No, it's not necessary." And then what did he say? He said, "It sounds necessary." And it then sounds what like did you say? To fight. Then I said, uh, "I don't want to fight." Okay. And then what did we he had say? A, uh, we had a conversation about it already. Okay. And then? That's when uh, we kept going on, and that's when Chris uh, said that he was going to call the cops. 
Okay. And who did call the cops? I did. Okay. Oh, because why I Why am I not surprised? <laughs> All right. So, and... But I sat... I was in the living room where Chris was sitting down just listening to everything. And I was like, Chris, can you go get your son? So not, when they keep pressuring him and arguing, it kind of brings back his PTSD. Okay. So I decided... I told Kevin, come on, let's go. I'm calling the police. Okay. So, so you call the police. The police go out there and they say... And they ask... So, Go ahead. We sat in grandma's truck for about 30 minutes, and then the police arrive and say, what do you want to happen? I said, just make it so that we can go in there calmly. We can go back to bed. And then we go back in there, and then two days later, the breaker turns off. Did you turn off the breaker? I did the not. Electricity? I did not. It Sometimes it flips. I am not. No, I did not turn off the breaker. Uh, so what flips? Just the... Um, usually uh, the bedroom... And sometimes the laundry room, it depends yeah, and, which one. Except that what was losing electricity this time, just the bedroom that you're renting out? Yes. Yeah, you can't do that, all right? I'm not that malicious. Well, it sounds a little malicious when <laughs> a land, because you wanted them out and they yeah. weren't getting out. And all of a sudden, the electricity, you had said that they had until the first. What made mm -hmm. that change? Because now you wanted them, I see the text where you're saying, get out now. So what happened in that interim? Um, so they went to 7-Eleven and they were telling people, telling the cashier there about how that my, that he had to clean everything. So when I hear that I'm being talked about, my husband's being talked about, it raises my anxiety up and I get up, I get upset, yeah. Yeah, that's so, well, I, 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 I gotta tell you, you're not unique, but go ahead. So, I mean, yeah, most people so will get I, angry if they're getting talked about somewhere. So, but. Yeah, so then I was just like, they gotta go now. I can't do this. I can't handle right. this. Right, so you told them you have to leave now. You can't stay until the 31st. Let me explain something to you. You don't have the legal right to do that. You're a landlord, and you have to abide by the, the rules for landlord tenants in your state, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, I know you feel like you have that right, mm -hmm. um, and you feel like they forfeited their right to stay there, and it may make you happy happy to get them out sooner, but you just have to have a thicker skin than that, and you have to wait it out, or you have to go to court and get them out. You don't get to throw them out, smoke them out, by turning off the electricity to their place. <laughs> I to swear their place. God, I did not shut off the electricity. I know it seems like I probably did, but I did not, I swear. <laughs> okay, but either way, the bottom line is, you don't, put your hand up, you Sorry. don't get the right to, to make them leave earlier than their rental term. So when you tell somebody, you've got to go and you've got to go now, you don't leave on the 15th, you leave on the 18th, right? And then you're suing for the rest of August. All right, what, is your, what do you respond to him, or do you respond to him when he asks for that money back? So I brought up that we needed, I was telling him about the berry bushes and then that we needed weed killer. He says, find out how much it costs, and, and I'll get it for you. So he told, I told him how much it was. He's like, go ahead, order it on Amazon. Same with the, or the toilet stuff. But can I ask you something? Why are you uh, hitting him up for money for that? I wasn't. He offered. No, no. He doesn't even know you need it until you tell him. And he's a tenant. So why is it you're... I just told him that we needed it. I, and he said he would get it. He would pay for it. Okay. So that's the weed killer. And then let's talk about the toilet flushing mechanism. What's that about? Um, so our toilets would keep running because... It, the thing wasn't clamping down right on the mm -hmm. inside. A new flapper. Yeah, and him and uh, my husband, I think it was, went to Home Depot and got the parts. He paid for them. So he actually, he knows you're already kicking him out and he pays to, fi to fix the toilet, which is the landlord's job? Is that correct, sir? Yes. Okay. The utilities you paid July 7th, right? Yes. And your version of the story is that she told us if we wanted to keep using the AC, we had to, Correct. to, to give her witness. $200. She, she stated in front of him that if we didn't uh, give the $200, uh, it wasn't a, a one-time thing. It was a monthly thing, and it was if... Yeah, but you paid if, that 200 in July. You didn't, you didn't pay right, it in August. Right, because right. we got an AC that she used... And if you look, I'm not trying to be rude. Wait, stop a second. So what yes, you're saying is that in, in the month of August, you bought her an AC? No, July. In the month of July, you bought her an AC? Yes. And then what, did you take that AC with you when you we moved sure out? We sure did. Okay, so you took both ACs yep. with you when you moved out. Okay. What was it like those three days after she tells you you've got to go, and for those three days, what happens? Stress. 
just everybody not talking to each other? Well, I when she gave us the letter, we went up to the the uh, 7-Eleven at the end of the corner, and that's where that came into play because she said some things. I agreed, I concurred, and I said, yes, it is a messy house. There's a bunch of animals. What do you expect? How many animals were there? There's so many, Your Honor. The bedroom floor smells like pee. Okay, how many animals are there? <laughs> so there's darn near... Uh, there's a lot of cats. I how counted many, 20. How many animals are there? I counted 20. Three 20? dogs. Wait, wait. <laughs> For real? <laughs> yeah. 20 cats? Welcome back to the People's Court. I'm Harvey Levin. So this is a case where uh, people living under the same roof just don't get along. The plaintiffs say that the defendant kicked them out, owes them money. We will find out. Let's go back into the courtroom. How many cats are there? There's oh, there's, a, there's enough to fill a horse. Hold on. There's six. There's six. Six, six cats? Six cats. Two kittens. And two are outside all the time. Oh, the two kittens. That one's hers and one's my So cat. eight cats? Yes, and two are about to kick it. Any dogs? Three. Three, Three small dogs, dogs, eight cats. Three small dogs. Yes. OK. There's so a hamster. And a hamster? Now? There was a guinea pig. A partridge in a pear tree? There's a and lot a of animals pig. here. All right. The guinea pig's gone. All right, all right, let's stop. Let's discuss the law here, OK? When you tell them you may not live here for the rest of the month, you don't get to also keep the rest of the month, okay? You have to return the prorated portion. So, I, number one, I am ordering you to return the prorated portion that they're suing for. The next thing, the two items that I want to talk about are the weed killer and the flushing mechanism. If I have a right to use that for the whole month of August and you've kicked me out, I guess you didn't really give me the enjoyment of the article that I bought. And it's frankly a little bizarre because it's really the landlord's obligation. That's not something they have to kick in. But I don't care if they agree they're going to kick in, then they're going to kick in. And they kicked in and then you threw them out. So I don't, all of a sudden now, they don't get to enjoy what it is that they didn't even have to kick in for to begin with. So I'm going to order you to return the 70 and the 37. The 200 is a little bit more difficult, you see, because you willingly paid her 200 and then, na and that was in July, it was July 7th, and you're there until August 18th, and, and then you're like, I wish I hadn't done that, but you did do that. Yeah. So, and then you ended up I taking both ACs, student. which I don't blame you either, but <laughs> you don't get to have then something you agreed to pay in the midst of your tenancy given back to you just because your tenancy ends, because when all is said and done, understand you're a month-to-month -month tenancy. Yeah. Um, so the 200 you're not going to get, but the rest of the money that you're suing for you are. I am ruling in favor of the plaintiffs in the amount of the $339.20. Good luck, folks. Thank you, Your Honor. So the plaintiffs prevail. The defendant is on her way out of the courtroom. Let's talk to her now. Ms. Andrews, what have you learned from what the judge just told you today? Um, to not rent out my rooms anymore. Sounds like quite a house you have there. What, eight cats, three dogs, a guinea pig, a hamster, and then a lot of people. Is it any better now that they're gone? It's okay. It's okay? <laughs> yeah. All right, listen, thank you very much. <laughs> the exit is on your right. All right, here come the plaintiffs now. Uh, obviously, it was quite an experience for them. So are you in a better place now? Yes, it's much cleaner. The, the rugs ain't even smelly no more. I don't have to wake up in the morning and turn over and scrub the carpet because it smells like cat urine. Well, good for you. That's Listen, uh, you were introduced in the courtroom as uh, Kevin being your fiance. Are you guys planning on getting married? I gotta yes. ask you that. Yes, we are. You are. When's the wedding date? Have you set it yet? January or February. We want it in a cold right. winter month. And why is that? He likes the cold. <laughs> I like snow and stuff like all that. All right. Good luck to you, all right? Thank all you. Right? Thanks. Thank you. Well, Harvey, what's your perspective? What are you thinking? So, Doug, the defendant lost this case because you can't just say, well, the other tenants don't like these tenants, and that's a reason that I'm just going to kick uh, the plaintiffs out. You can't do that. Now, if the plaintiffs are doing something that does cross that legal line and the landlord makes his or her own judgment, that's one thing. But just listening to the tenants complain and saying that's why I'm doing it doesn't cut it. If you gift a person $1,000 for a specific reason, like paying for their elderly mother visiting from another country, and they didn't use the funds for that, can you sue to get it back? 
Yes, yes, you can. I mean, if I if 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 this is actually part of our deal, that the right. reason I'm giving you this gift is for a specific purpose, right. and then you do not use it for that specific purpose, then so wait a second, you've violated our deal. This was our deal. Like if they say I'm going to bring my mother, and then they don't bring their mother, they use it to gamble. All right, the yeah, track or something. Yeah, right. you know, you you can sue based on listen, it was only a gift if right. in fact this is what it was going to be used for. A conditional so, gift. Yes, yeah, you're right? you're gonna have to be able to prove that right. in fact there was that condition right. because if you go into court and say this is what happened and the other right. side can say that's not true he just gave me money absolutely. you're going to be in trouble absolutely right, right.